Welcome back to our deep dive into the NHL's first round draft picks of the 2000s. Last time, we traced their paths up to the legendary Alexander Ovechkin in 2004. But what about the stars that followed him until 2010? Stay tuned to uncover the unexpected twists and turns. Sidney Crosby, 2005. Let's start with Sidney Crosby. His stature as an undisputed NHL legend is backed by the sheer weight of his achievements, solidifying his place among the all-time greats of the league. Crosby's remarkable skill, proud lineage, and resilience, especially when bouncing back from mid-career injuries, underscore his unparalleled excellence. For over 16 years, he has captained the Pittsburgh Penguins, epitomizing an unwavering commitment to greatness. Even at 35, Crosby's fervor and performance show no signs of waning, as illustrated by his stellar 2022-23 season. He remains a dominant force on the ice, netting 33 goals and amassing 93 points. Throughout his illustrious 18-year NHL journey with the Penguins, Crosby has achieved nearly every significant milestone, leaving only a few records untouched as he etched his legacy in the annals of hockey history. While Crosby might not outwardly acknowledge his pursuit of the Penguins' all-time scoring record or a coveted spot among the NHL's top five scorers, his exceptional 2022-23 campaign has undeniably edged him closer to these historic marks. Impressively, he played in all 82 regular season games, a consistency he hasn't showcased since the 2017-2018 season. Maintaining his remarkable point-per-game average for the 18th straight season, Crosby continues to be a testament to enduring excellence. Moreover, he has widened the gap between himself and his long-standing rival, Alex Ovechkin, ending the season with a decisive 17-point advantage. Sidney Crosby's legacy remains unassailable as his illustrious career progresses, exemplifying mastery, determination, and an enduring passion for hockey. Eric Johnson, 2006 Next up is Eric Johnson. Selected first overall by the St. Louis Blues in the 2006 NHL Draft, Eric Johnson's career has often been overshadowed by the success of high-profile players chosen after him, such as Jonathan Taves and Nicholas Backstrom. However, branding Johnson a mere disappointment ignores his significant contributions to the game. After being traded to the Colorado Avalanche in February 2011, Johnson displayed unwavering loyalty, even amongst team challenges and the emergence of star players like Gabrielle Landeskog and Nathan McKinnon. His commitment shone brightly in June 2022, when the Avalanche secured their first Stanley Cup win since 2001. Toppling the back-to-back -back champions, the Tampa Bay Lightnings highlighted the team's collective spirit. Landeskog's gesture to allow Johnson the honor of lifting the Stanley Cup first underscores Johnson's crucial role with the squad. Internationally, Johnson made his mark by clinching a silver medal with Team USA at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics, reflecting his skill on the world stage. Throughout his tenure, Johnson has consistently proven himself as a stalwart defenseman, often prioritizing prioritizing his team's outcomes over personal accolades. While he isn't known primarily for his offense, he has achieved seasons with 25 or more points on eight separate occasions. With an imposing stature of 6 feet 4 inches and weighing in at 230 pounds, Johnson uses his physicality to challenge adversities. This prowess is evident in his commendable career plus-minus rating of plus 4. At 35, Johnson was recently signed a one-year $3.25 million dollar deal with the Buffalo Sabres. This union seems perfect for the up-and-coming Sabre squad, with Johnson's expertise and commitment set to leave a mark. Eric Johnson's trajectory embodies resilience, dedication, and the invaluable quality of a player who elevates the team above personal glory. Patrick Kane, 2007 in 2007, Patrick Kane made an immediate impact, quickly becoming one of the NHL's premier American-born players since his debut that same year. He has consistently been a top performer in the league, showcasing both reliability and prodigious talent. He played a pivotal role in the Chicago Blackhawks' success, aiding them in securing three Stanley Cup championships. By the conclusion of the 2022-23 season, Kane had joined the esteemed ranks of only three American players who've 
averaged at least one point per game over an impressive 1,000 regular season games. This exclusive club includes legends Brett Hull and Joe Mullen. Significantly, only Mike Madonna boasts more even strength points than Kane, epitomizing the pinnacle of offensive mastery by an American in the league. Further cementing his legacy, Kane is one of just eight Americans to be selected first overall in the NHL draft. He also stands as the fourth American recipient of the coveted Conn Smythe Trophy, a recognition of his clutch performances in the postseason. On the ice, Kane's brilliance is evident. Accumulating 138 career playoff points, Kane remarks as the fifth highest American scorer in NHL history. His journey in the NHL is a masterful blend of raw talent, consistency, and pivotal moments that have reshaped the narrative of American excellence in the hockey world. Steven Stamkos, 2008 the brilliance doesn't stop there. Steven Stamkos stands out as a gem amidst the star-studded 2008 NHL draft class. While his role in his first Stanley Cup victory's playoff run was minimal, his timely return and pivotal goal in the final ignited the team's winning spirit. Stamkos further enhances his legacy as one of the few players to net 60 goals in a single season post-2000. His leadership is unmistakably evident, especially when he chose loyalty to his team over a potential free agent shift to Toronto. Serving as the team captain since taking the reins from Martin St. Louis in the 2013-2014 season, Stamkos recently delivered a remarkable performance as a 33-year-old center, sitting out just one game and amassing a commendable 84 points. In the playoff series against the Toronto Maple Leafs, he proved his reliability with two goals and two assists. Throughout his illustrious career, Stamkos has collected numerous accolades that position him as an NHL luminary. He boasts a two-time league all-star title and has secured the Maurice Richard Trophy for leading goal scorer on two occasions. Beyond individual honors, he boasts two Stanley Cup titles. Among Tampa Bay Lightning records, he leads with five 515 goals, 11 hat tricks, 133.7 point shares, and an impressive 1,056 total points. A significant milestone was reached on December 1, 2022, when he became the sole player in Tampa Bay Lightning history to surpass the 1,000 point threshold, underscoring his monumental contribution. John Tavares, 2009. From the star-studded 2009 NHL draft class, which boasted talents like Matt Deshane, Evander Kane, Victor Hedman, and Oliver Ekman Larson, John Tavares unquestionably stands out. Defined by unwavering consistency and pivotal on-ice influence, Tavares excels with his innate ability to strategically position himself before the net. His tenacity in puck battles and exemplary leadership have considerably enhanced his team's performance. Assuming the captain of his hometown Toronto Maple Leafs wasn't a walk in the park, Tavares has navigated the role with commendable efficiency. While there were initial reservations about a substantial long-term contract pegged at $11 million annually, Tavares has consistently showcased his indispensable worth to the team. His impressive form is evident in both the regular and postseasons, underscoring his versatility and mastery over the game. While some opine that individual accolades could further enshrine his legacy, Tavares's impact goes beyond personal awards. His unwavering leadership and remarkable consistency cement him as one of the NHL's elite players. The echoes of his contributions to hockey resonate widely, affirming his position as a trailblazer in the annals of the NHL. Taylor Hall, 2010 Taylor Hall, the standout first overall pick of the 2010 NHL Draft, burst onto the scene with the Edmonton Oilers as an eager 18-year-old. Though part of an underperforming team, his skill set blossomed remarkably over his six seasons with the Oilers. The significant pivot in his career trajectory came from his 2016 trade with the New Jersey Devils. The 2017-2018 season became a landmark for him, netting an astonishing 39 goals and racking up 90 
93 points. He clinched the coveted Hart Trophy as the NHL MVP. His leadership was instrumental in steering the Devils back to the playoffs, breaking a five-year hiatus. Hall's career boasts a consistent production average, hovering around 60 points annually. While he might not have always been perceived as the foundational pillar for a franchise, it's vital to factor in the challenges posed during his stint with the Oilers. Now with the Chicago Blackhawks, Hall joins forces with Connor Bedard, the newest first overall dynamo. This renewed journey with the Blackhawks opens promising horizons for Hall. Eagerly looking forward, he's keen on taking on a more pronounced role, showcasing the evolution of his craft and cementing his stature as a premier forward, irrespective of the years behind him. So out of all the players we've covered in our videos, who do you believe has achieved the most success? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop your opinions in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more. Until the next one, keep the icy puck videos playing.